what is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here with yet another video and today we have the NG Models January 2021 releases and um, as predicted by several people, the uh, NG December releases never existed because the November and October releases were delayed and a bunch of them came in December and into January. Uh, the models are sold out from the last release, which was the November release, was just this one, the Flayout 737-800, which is the model that I have coming. The rest of the releases did not sell out, that's because NG has the bigger factory now they sell more models in and they can make more, so that's really good. This release set here is really small, just six planes, but I think the quality of the planes in the set are really good. Not a whole lot of planes, but they're really good quality, so let's take a look at them. Here we have the 7200 for an airline that I find hard to pronounce. I don't know what airline this is. I want to say like K-Nino or something. I don't know. Someone will tell me in the comments below. But this is a 757200. And um, that one is Victor Quebec. That's Bravo Golf Golf. It is a Russian cargo company. And then here is a TU-204-100. This one is Romeo Alpha 640032. And these are both $45.99. Now this airplane, I believe, this is the one that just crashed recently. It's either this one or a different TU-204 from this airline that just crashed very recently. I'll be covering it in Aviation News this week. But a lot of interesting things have happened. Uh, and so I think NG making this model is probably because of the crash, if I had to guess. I, I suspect they've been planning to make it anyway. But because the crash just happened, they decided to drop the release right away. Uh, these two planes were added onto the website after the first four, and these are also going to be delivered in March. Uh, delivery in March, not deliver all in March. They didn't quite spell that correctly, but still cool planes and nice portions of the release. I think they're cool planes. The beautiful liveries too, but not really one for me. Next up, we have the United 737-900ER, November 75435. This is in the Continental Retro livery. This is the United variant, and you can tell because it has split skimmy toys. The old Continental one didn't have the split skimmy toys, so this is the United uh, variant of the special livery, and this is a very cool plane. I just saw it at Des Moines the last few days because it was stuck here due to some sort of maintenance issues. It was parked at Alpha 5 gate for a while. So this plane had some sort of mechanical issue and was here at Des Moines for a little while. Very cool plane to see it as I drive over to the bag room. I see the plane over at the gate, United Gate and it was a really cool plane. I will be picking up this model and I think it's going to sell out well. I was talking to a retailer. He thought it wouldn't, but it, it's going to. It's it just in my opinion. I think this livery will sell out pretty well and I'm interested to see. Are you guys interested in this livery? I just gauge my audience. Do you want this model? And then next up we have the United 7 for 7 200, November 41135. This is a re-release of the United 757-200 they made. That was one of their very first North American releases. So this is a re-release. I don't know if that first release though had splits, had a skimmy tar winlet, not split, but just a skimmy tar winlet. So that first one might have just been a standard winlet, United 752. And this one is the split winlet, well not split, but just the skimmy tar winlet. And I will be picking this model up. Very cool airplane. And I'm really excited to get this one also has a SATCOM box on it. So this would have been later in the United 757's operations, like how you would see it right now. This would be about 2018 and onwards. Very cool airplane. It's really cool to see NG doing an actual re-release. Next up, we have the American 757-200, November 174 Alpha Alpha, which means this is the One World Chrome Retro plane. Not retro, but <laughs> Chrome Special Livery. One world colors. Now, I've wanted this model for so long. Jeremy Jets released this plane all the way back in 2013. And now, here it is by NG Models. And this will be a much better version compared to the Gemini Jets version. And so, I'm really excited to pick this one up and add it to my personal collection. It'll be such a cool airplane to have. And I know a bunch of people who want this one. This will probably be the one model for Soy out of this set to sell out. And finally, we have another... Chinese ARJ-21, Bravo Dash, um, is that 205? 605 November. Another ARJ-21, NG is basically making all these. This was another demonstrator livery. 
not really one for me, but I'm sorry some of the Chinese collectors will like it. So that's pretty much it for the January set. Very small little set here. And obviously because of how small the set is, it's going to be very difficult to please everyone. However, I really do like this set. I will be picking up the two Uniteds and the American. And that 2204 is one I'd consider, but I want to, you know, not buy too many planes. So I'll just stick with those three and that's pretty much it. So, so far, the year of 2022 is starting off with me not buying too many planes. It's always a good thing. And just to end the conversation here, um, I want to know what you think of these releases. And also, judge these releases not based on are they the planes that you wanted made, but are they planes that are generally going to be wanted by the audience that intended for it. Like, I think this is really good. I think those two Russian planes here, these two Russian cargo aircraft, are going to sell really well because they're for an audience that probably really wants them, and I think they'll sell pretty well as, as will the North American releases, and I think they got J21. So I think considering the fact that it has to be a small release because of the Chinese New Year, it was a very successful one. So that is it for my thoughts on this release. What are yours? Put them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.